and welcome to Destiny Palmistry channel. Today we are discussing quite a bit about the fingerprints and we are talking about success signs from those fingerprints and also from the palms because this is a, another example reading. So before I go on with the reading, we're going to quickly have a mini lesson on three types of fingerprints. I will do a specific video for fingerprints later on. But for now, we are going to have a, a quick lesson on what they might mean uh, as well on this person's hands for an example. First of all, I'm going to talk about the most common and basic fingerprint is called a loop. Now, I should have turn the picture the other way around, but that's okay. You should be able to see. And how to tell a loop from other kinds of fingerprints is there is no closure on one side. On this side, there is what's called a triradius. It's a little triangle where the lines all take off in different directions. That's called a triradius. So in the middle, there's a tiny little triangle. When you have a loop fingerprint such as this, it looks like a, a water droplet that will only ever have one triangle, either on the left side or on the right side, depending on which way the loop faces. They can sometimes face in the opposite direction, like away from the thumb. This is sort of towards the thumb. So that is your most common and basic fingerprint is the loop. And the second print that we're discussing today is the whirl. It's very, very concentrated. It is literally the print goes around and around in circles. And in the middle, there's usually just a a tight circle in the middle and that is a complete whirl and how to tell a whirl if it's a complete whirl is because it will have two of those triradius so there will be a triangle triradius on both sides as you can see in my drawing here so the whirl is not so common like the loop and we will talk about that on this hand as well and then one more that we are going to discuss is a composite whirl or a composite loop so this is still classed as a whirl but there's two of them so it's like a composite two loops that come in to form like a yin yang or an s sideways s or a yin yang shape and the composite whirls also have two triradius, triradii. So either side will have a little triangle. So that proves that it is not a regular loop. It is a composite whirl. So we're going to be discussing those three loops in this hands and what they might mean. I shall bring up some pictures. Okay, so here I have marked some letters on the fingers. I have seen the, the prints close up. Uh, you just can't see them here, but the W stands for whirls, L for loops. So we will quickly discuss what they mean in the signs of success. When we look at signs of success through the fingerprints, we look to see if there are any whirls because whirls are the highest ranking fingerprint. And they, if you have many of them, they can show that you are probably good at business. You have a business like mind. Um, you're able to focus. You can be uh, somewhat selfish, but in a good way because you know how to succeed in life. But what we look for is the highest ranking on which finger is the highest ranking print. So the whirl here, we have the best qualities out of the left hand, the whirl on 
the index finger is about passion, about finding your passion in life and going after and living your passions. So that is the, one of the best qualities based on the whirl on the index finger. The whirl on the ring finger for this person, another positive trait in success is being an innovator, being the master of your own approval, approving what you do for yourself and being very innovative. There's that word that I struggled saying, but I think I've nailed it. So that's the two highest ranking prints, innovation, passions. And they go good together when um, you are trying to be successful in life. The lowest ranking prints on this hand are the loops. And the problem areas for this person might be family. That's regarding the thumb because it's lower than the whirl. Loop doesn't on its own mean these things. It's just, it's a lower ranking print than the whirl. So the loop on the thumb can depict problems in the area of family. The loop on the ring finger, on the left, I'm sorry, the middle finger on the left hand, that can be um, guilt issues, not being appreciated or some respect issues. And on the pinky, it can be regarding intimacy problems, having the lowest prints there. So <clears throat> having two worlds is a good sign on this hand as far as trying to be successful. I'll talk about the lines more later on the palm when I, I'll bring up a, a close up of the palm for that. So moving on to the right hand. So on the right hand, we have three whirls, which is even better. One of the very positive signs in success in fingerprints is having many whirls. And all together in this hand, both hands, there are five whirls. And that puts the person in a very um, good position for being a leader. Now, the lower ranking fingerprint on this hand is the loop. And as I mentioned, the composite loop before, where the loop goes like a yin yang, there's a composite loop on the index finger. But that is the second highest ranking print. The whirl is still the highest on the right hand here. So the lowest ranking is the loop on the pinky. And this is regarding communication. So the person's problems might be not being able to um, communicate effectively. Although the pinky is quite long. And when you see a long pinky, that's a good sign of someone who can be successful in business. And it's a good sign of someone who can communicate effectively. So it's kind of um, a balancing, the lowest ranking print there is balancing with the, with the length and the shape of the pinky. So they um, are not so much concerned. Right, going to this composite well, on the index finger. And there's also a slight kink on the tip of the index finger. So there might have been something in the past which made the person's mindset change. Normally the fingers are dead straight. So that kink shows that there was something that changed in the person's mindset. And the world's Sorry, we're talking about the composite first. All right, the composite on the index, being a yin yang, which is balancing, however, it 
shows indecisiveness and the area where this person is probably always indecisive is in their power, in their leadership. Because the right index finger is about leadership. They probably be a good leader, but they probably have difficulty in decisions. Dif might have feeling influential one minute and then not the other, or feeling powerless one minute and then feeling powerful on another time. So it's uh, one of those things where uh, if you have composite loops, you should um, always think to yourself that when you're being <clears throat> indecisive to not try and think of a decision 100%. So if you, for instance, are only 70% sure about something, then that's probably as far as you're going to go with it. You're not going to ever feel 100% about anything. So to you, your 70% is your 100%. So just uh, something that uh, people with composite prints should try and remember. So that is to do with leadership particularly and feeling uh, powerful in yourself. The good news on this hand are the three whirls, especially the whirl on the thumb, because the right thumb, when you are right hand dominant, and this person is right hand dominant, that depicts someone who is the master of success. They can be very successful. They are the doer. They are the hardworking, go-getting person who who doesn't like to fail. So there's a very, very good sign of success there. The fact that there's also a whirl on the middle finger on the right, on the dominant hand, that indicates somebody who can be responsible. That is a sign of a businessman. It is a good, good mark to have if you are wanting to be in business because it does show somebody that is good with money. On the ring finger, the whirl is like the artist. It doesn't mean the person paints and draws, but they are charismatic. They, they have charisma, they have exactness. Like you can have an accountant who has a whirl because they're so exact. And you can have somebody, somebody who is has a good taste in arts or good taste in in fashion or things like that. So the whirl on the ring finger is also good in signs of success. A combination of successful businessman, charismatic, creative. That's a good combination for signs of success. So only thing he should remember is to uh, try to be more decisive, makes sense, and uh, try to uh, communicate effectively. And that will be very helpful in finding success. Okay, we're gonna move on to the palm lines. And on the left hand, we have a variation of a simian line. Simian line is, if you haven't watched my other videos, it is a single line across the palm <clears throat> instead of having the heart line and the headline. In this case, there appears to be a headline, which is this curved line, and it's reaching down to the Mount of Moon area. So that's showing a quite a bit of imagination, quite a good imagination in this person, which is, can be a good quality as long as they don't overthink things in a negative way, like moody, moodiness and things like that can be common. So if they can avoid getting overly moody, that's a, a good sign. Now the heart line, is not 
really there. It's like maybe it's broken, but the heart line starts, but then, you know, it looks like it continues up here, but it doesn't. Instead of doing that, it's like a broken heart line that connects to the headline, which gives it that simian appearance. And that tells me that the person is very logical. The, the mind rules in this case, so they can be very self-dependent. They like to focus on one thing at a time and they're usually the intellectual type. With this little branch of the heart line going up here and it looks like it reaches all the way to between the index and middle finger and that shows the passionate nature because a, a very curved heart line going up there shows that they, they, are, they are very passionate about what they do. And one of the signs of success on this hand is the success line, which is the one that rises up to the ring finger. And what's interesting is there is almost like a trident here of these success lines forming and they are like influence lines rising up to the success line showing that a couple of things are going to come together and form this successful enterprise. So these couple of things that come together are rising from the heart line. So it is um, a, a passionate thing that they want to do. It's heartfelt goal that they want to achieve. And these things that they might be doing will come together as one and form this nice success line. So that is a good sign of success right there. Okay, moving on to the right the right hand, we've got a couple of discussions here. Okay, this one is a, a clearly a simian line. I see, a, you know, I'm not a very good drawer here, am I? But anyway, you can see that the line goes completely across. There is some fragments of heart line, not not really a headline there at all. So that is a simian line for sure. And that gives that single mindedness uh, like to focus on one thing at a time. So we'll start with the number one sign on this hand. The sign of success here is from this lifeline, which curves around the ball of thumb for the beginners. From this lifeline, we see a rising branch line. And that little rising line is called an achievement line. And he, he's another one earlier here too. He's got one that rises up there. He's got some ambition lines up there, achievement and ambition lines. They can uh, be the same meaning. <clears throat> so this achievement line is just past sort of halfway along. If you have a look at the, if you draw an imaginary line across the corners of the hand, not quite like that. Where's my rubber? So if you draw a line, imaginary line, to halfway along the line, halfway along the lifeline is around about the age of 40. So if that's the age of 40, and this gentleman is 40, it's showing that there is an achievement coming. And that is probably anywhere between the age of 45, 48, around about that. The second sign of success on this hand is the strong fate line. A strong fate line shows someone who is hard working. So the strong fate line, which rises from 
at the very bottom here shows early, probably early responsibility. So it, it changes, the fate line changes coming up to the age of 40. It looks like before then, maybe in the 30s, there was some, there was a change. The fate line tends to split and there's a success line starting to form from the fate line rising up to the heart line so it's working like an influence line and if you if you believe in uh, money triangles that is a little money triangle formed in there i don't generally read triangles but i just thought i'd mention it <clears throat> right number three is the inspiration and influence lines <clears throat> as as on his left hand, there was a clear success line. There's also a success line here. And rising up to it, there are several influence or inspiration lines. And that is showing effort. Effort lines, they could be called as well. That is showing effort that is putting energy into this line. So that is a good sign to have when energy is coming in towards that success. Number four I've marked is got a floating heart line. It just people might be curious because the line seems to, it seems to apparently be like this really long relationship line, but no, it's not. It's very common on people with a simian line to have like a floating heart line also called a girdle of Venus. This is a floating girdle of Venus or heart line. It acts like a heart line in a way it gives more sensitivity to the nature. Uh, Simian line people tend to be quite sensitive anyway and it, with this floating heart line it does add a little bit extra to that. It, um, shows that person has has a heart so he'd be very kind kind-hearted person next I have number five I have multiple fate lines see how I mentioned how the fate line uh, went into a fork or where the success line rises from it the fate line does continue after the simian line that shows still working at after the age of 40 or being busy in life but it tends to it forms into like three it's like three fate lines rising up there and that's a, a good sign of success in a way that for instance a business person will be very busy so there's many things that a business person does they they don't just come and sit at the desk and type for instance they they have multiple tasks so there's multitasking going on which is a very common sign on someone who's doing business and in this case it is showing after the age of 40. Combination of the success lines they um, are all very good indicators. Now one of the things that I should have had as number one not as number six number one thing when someone puts their hand up and says oh will I be successful first thing I look at is do they have energy to be successful you've got to have energy to be a successful person you cannot be lazy you cannot expect everyone to just do everything for you you can't just use your mind to be successful well you can I suppose but ultimately a self-made successful person needs energy, they need drive, they need to be able to get things done. And so really the number one thing to look at is energy on the hand. And here there's a, a good firm, not firm, but firm, not hard, but a firm looking ball of thumb and a firm looking mount of moon and those two mounts 
including the Mount of Jupiter as well. It's a firm Mount of Jupiter that shows leadership. Both, all of these mounts show high energy levels, which is a must if you are trying to do business. So they, um, one of the questions was from this person is, you know, should his first business be something? It's whatever he's passionate about. It doesn't matter what kind of business, but I, I think if he does go into business, he has all the right qualities. And uh, certainly from a palm reading perspective, I think, um, yes, he should go for it. So the other question that he had was, will he be changing country again? Or will he stay where he is? And at this stage, anyway, looking at his dominant hand, the lifeline seems to continue in the one path. If the lifeline had a, a particular break in it, I would say that, um, yes, he will change country again. However, because it looks like it just continues the way it is, it seems at least for now or for quite a while he will remain where he is there is i believe a faint line here travel line which might be forming so there might be some travel in the future but as far as um, a permanent location it doesn't doesn't appear to be so one more thing i almost forgot is number seven up here between the middle finger and ring finger is a loop pattern on the skin ridges. That is called the loop of seriousness. It can also be called the loop of common sense. So these kind of people are typically very ambitious. They're career orientated. They're responsible and always have a purpose in their mind. They, they love being busy and it's a sign of a hard worker as well. So being a loop of seriousness doesn't mean that they don't have a sense of humor. It just means that they do enjoy working a lot. So there's another good sign of that. I um, think that's all we have for today. I hope you've enjoyed that learning. It was slightly longer than my usual video. And um, don't forget, go to Amazon and check out Life and Destiny palmistry complete guide on sale you can get it on kindle book or paperback thanks very much and i'll catch you later